Good afternoon. It is Friday, March 21st. I'm Mary. Calvi in the news. New information on a fire at a motel on the Jersey Shore. At least three people have died and several more are hurt, some of them critically, in the fire at the Mariner's Cove Motor Inn. The fire broke out just before 6 a.m. Firefighters had to break windows to reach some of the victims. The motel was gutted and lost its roof. The cause of the fire is under investigation. A teenager is accused of shooting a bus passenger to death in Brooklyn. Police say the 14 year old boy fired several shots while on a B-15 bus near Green Avenue and Marcus Garvey Boulevard in Bedford Stuyvesant last night. Investigators say the teen missed his intended target but shot 39 year old Angel Rojas in the head. Rojas, a father of two, died at the hospital. The teenager was taken into custody shortly after the shooting. Another funeral today for a victim of last week's building explosion and collapse in East Harlem. Friends and family held a wake for Sergeant Griselda Camacho yesterday. There were hugs and tears outside the First Avenue funeral home, and a group of police officers greeted each mourner at the entrance. Four teenagers are being questioned after a car vandalism spree in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Surveillance video caught the suspects wearing masks resembling the legendary rock group Kiss as they damaged 25 cars. The suspects used pipes and shovels to damage the cars and also sprayed graffiti on several vehicles. There may soon be fewer places to legally light up in New Jersey. The state assembly has approved a bill that would ban smoking at all public beaches and parks. The measure now heads to the state Senate. A vote has not yet been scheduled. The bill is designed to eliminate exposure to secondhand smoke, cut down on litter, and improve fire safety in public areas. Smoking would still be allowed in parking lots near beaches and parks. John Elliott's here now with the forecast and a look ahead to the weekend. Thank you, Mary. Hi, everybody. Happy first full day of spring, and guess what? What a beauty. Some nice conditions out there, and we're shooting for 51 in the city. I think we'll be able to do it, and hey, are you feeling normal? That's right where we should be. 51 is the normal high this time of the year. Records 84 and 10. Sun sets at 709. A lot of sun to see. Tomorrow, not as much sun, but warmer. 62, I know. Can you believe it? But the, oh, look what happens on Sunday. We're down to 47, and then, oh, you don't want to hear this. Well below normal as far as those temperatures go into next week. A chance of a shower here and there tomorrow. Not a lot, just enough and more clouds and mild. And then get ready for cold conditions next week. Have a good weekend, Mary. You too, John. Tonight on CBS 2 News, be careful what you write in an online review. A Brooklyn man faces the threat of a lawsuit. What he posted that has a shop owner taking action. Plus, is the city bike program in trouble? Ridership numbers are down. CBS 2 looks at why some people are choosing other options and what's being done to try to keep revenue rolling in. Those stories and more when we see you on CBS 2 after NCAA basketball. I'm Mary Calvi. Have a great afternoon.